Hi guys, myself Vijay Tavada and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. The example problem is like this. A regular hexagonal lamina of sides 30 mm is lying in such a way that one of its sides touches both the reference plane. If the lamina makes 60 degree with HP, draw the projections of the lamina. So now according to the question, so go to the applications, macros, run macros, select inside polygon and click on the open. The flat length is supposed to be taken as 30 millimeter. So the option is supposed to be selected as flat length. Then apply relationship and press the left click of the mouse anywhere on the screen. And then hexagon has to be placed with respect to the side resting and show that the size of the hexagon is 30 millimeter. And then make use of a line command with respect to XY line, sorry, with respect to 0.13 mm thing draw all the corners till the xy line to draw the front view and after drawing this projection till the xy line then uh, the front view has to be joined as a split lines with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter like this now the split lines are supposed to be drawn to get the next stages properly uh, to draw the projectors then make use of a text command name the corners this as a this as B and this as C and this as uh, D and this is going to be E and this is going to be F accordingly in the front view B dash as well as A dash then C dash as well as F dash and then D dash as well as E dash and then the front view is inclined at 60 degree to HP so one has to select the front view uh, go to move command and with respect to the move command and this b dash a dash is supposed to be repositioned on the x y line and its inclination is supposed to be 60 degree for which we have to use rotate command select b as first point and d as second point and the angle is supposed to be 60 degree then make use of angle between command show that these two line is inclined at 60 degree to hp and after which make use of a line command with respect to the 0.13 mm thing connect D dash to D and along with uh, D it is going to be extended to B also and uh, the A and E is also supposed to be drawn here whose angle is supposed to be locked as uh, 0 degree so we will uh, make it as uh, 0 and uh, after getting it to 0 we will lock that line and then we have B and A so we will mark B and A also then C and F is there, so we'll mark C to C and along with C we have remaining is F, so we'll project F. Then make use of uh, the text command and name the respective corners after drawing the projectors like A, B, C, D, E, F. And after marking this A, B, C, D, E, F, make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter, join this top here that is the intersection A to end point B, end point C, end point D, end point E, end point F and back to A and after which the line AB is on HP so it is supposed to be on VP also for which one has to select the top view which we have created then make use of move command move in such a way that a or B is supposed to be taken as a reference point then now we have taken B as a reference point B should be positioned on the XY line and then go to a rotate command rotate in such a way that B is on XY line and A is supposed to be on the XY line like this and after which the text A and B should be pulled down below the XY line then make use of a line command with respect to a thickness of 0.13 draw the projectors so with right extreme corners F is connected to F along with F we have C also so we will connect back the C then the next extreme corners is E so let us connect E and E dash and along with E we have D also so now D is going to be projected till this line and the AB will be on the XY line itself then make use of the text command and name the respective corners so this corner is going to be a dash this corner is going to be b dash and c dash d dash 
d dash and this is going to be e dash and this is going to be f dash now d dash is not uh, visible properly so we'll make that corrections then make use of the line command with respect to a thickness of 0 0.13 starting with a dash draw to d dash and then c dash d dash e dash f dash back to a dash now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects according to the given conditions in the question now if anybody is having any sort of doubts please feel free to contact me and also please do subscribe to my youtube channel and also do share this video to all your first year engineering students thank you guys thanks for watching my video once again